So we get a lot of people come to the channel who have issues with buffering on their movies, TV shows, whether you use official apps or unofficial streaming apps, whether you are brand new to the channel, watching this video for the first time, or whether you've been a regular watcher for a while, what we're gonna show you today is some great tips to hopefully stop that buffering for you, minimize it right down. We're gonna show you some tips at the beginning which will work on all applications, which will help. And we're gonna show you a couple of tips right at the end which are brilliant for unofficial apps. So if you're that person who uses third-party streaming apps, unofficial apps, and you're getting buffering, we're going to show you some tips, but they're going to come later in the video. First thing we're going to do, if you want to stay up to date with how to stream, how to stream for the best, no buffering, all that sort of stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're a regular watcher here, do comment underneath and try and make sure to watch till the end. That really helps us out on the channel, and we would also appreciate a share. So... First thing we're going to do, I'm going to need a little bit of audience participation on this one. We're going to install an app and you're going to tell me, without doing anything, how many apps you have running in the background on your device. So first up, go to your magnifying glass. In here, type in background apps and processes list. You click that and install this application, okay? Get it installed. As you'll see, it even gives you a little description in the top corner above there. Force closes apps that are running in the background. Brilliant. Helps save precious RAM and processing power of your device. Brilliant. This is all little issues which can cause buffering. So click it open and let me know when it loads up how many apps you have open. Look at that there. I've got nine apps open and I've literally just plugged this Fire Stick back in to make this video for you. OK, I've literally just plugged it in and these are all running in the background, using up the RAM and resources, making my device run slower, which in end can cause buffering. OK, so you let me know in the comments underneath how many you have running. I have nine. So who's going to be the highest. What you then do is click on close all apps and it will run through each one and you can force stop them. Or and then push the back button. So you push force stop, then push that back button. Force stop back button. Four stop back button. If you want to leave any of them running, leave them running. Okay, and they've all gone all the way back for us there. So we can hear, now we know our fire stick is running better. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at, actually, some people say speed test, that sort of stuff. We will do a speed test. But another one I like to look at, if you go to your settings, go to applications. As you highlight over applications, what you'll see here is your internal storage. I'm pointing that way, which is wrong because you can't see that. Up that way, internal storage. Mine says 0.98 gigabytes of available space. If yours is very low, so it says something like 0.1 or 0.2, you're going to experience buffering. This is because when you stream a movie or a TV show, you have to download part of that film onto your device to then be able to watch it. That is where you know the buffer zone you see, where it's buffering. So you have that little grey bar almost come out. That bit's available to watch because it's already downloaded. It's a temporary file, downloads on your device, you watch it, then it deletes behind. But if you've got no space to download it to, obviously your device is going to buffer along. So you need to, like, personally I like to keep about one gigabyte storage free. Maybe half a gigabyte would be fine, but make sure you have a bit of storage space there to use. Obviously to get some more storage place, if you click on manage installed applications, you can then delete applications in here if you're not using them. Okay, if there's anything in here you don't use, you can delete it. For instance, if I push the play button, confirm I'll delete it and it will free up that space it says on the top there. Not a problem. Okay, another one you could possibly use. Let's, okay, scrap it, let's do it. Let's do a couple which are useful for unofficial streaming apps. So if you're an unofficial streamer, unofficial you stream with third-party applications i'm not going to show you any third-party applications here but a lot of movie and tv show applications will benefit from using something called real debrid i will put a link to the real debrid website here underneath so what real debrid does it gives you premium hosters um it's quite hard to explain without demonstrating but i can't demonstrate on um youtube it wouldn't let me you know they would strike the video shut it down so, but there's nothing wrong with Real Debris. It gives you direct links. It doesn't link you specifically, but it hosts the links. So you get high speed downloads, HTML5 streaming with no plugin needed, parallel downloads possible, plus unlimited traffic. It literally, if you added the 
your account details of Real Debrid into majority of movie and TV scraper apps, it would give you more links. Okay, so check with your movie and TV app, whichever one you're using, if it's unofficial, look in the settings, um, look in there and look in accounts and you'll find out if you've got a Real Debrid bit where you can add it or sync it. If you do, adding it will give you many, many more links, all in different color within your streaming app. Whether it, I can't name the apps, but whether it's those streaming apps we all know about, if you use them, this will give you more links. And again, Real Debrid is an official service, but it can be used to benefit and reduce buffering on your streaming apps. Okay, we can't really go more into that one too much. Another little option is using a VPN. VPNs um, can stop your ISP blocking what you're streaming. So whether you're streaming officially or unofficially, again, a VPN can stop your internet service provider blocking that link because they don't know what you're doing. This is what a VPN is useful for. And you're quite lucky. We actually have an exclusive offer currently with IP Vanish VPN. If you're interested in just a monthly deal at $7.99 a month, you're only signed up for one month. Whereas most other deals, you have to sign up for the two year, the yearly one, three monthly or six monthly, or the monthly one's really expensive. For the next few weeks, we've got a lifetime deal where it'd just be $7.99 a month. That is also linked directly underneath. Brilliant. One last one, which you could also add, is the Tech Doctor UK app killer. Tech Doctor UK is another YouTuber, a bit like myself. Not as good looking, but you know, he tries, he tries. Open it up. With the latest update, you can whitelist apps, and it kind of does a bit like um, the one we did at the beginning, the background apps and processes, a bit like that. So what you can do, you can open it, you can open it up, and what this will do is will close devices running in the background. So you can force stop all apps, everything like that, but you must have ADB debugging connected and turned on. Personally, I don't like to have ADB debugging turned on all the time, but you can turn it on while you use this application. This is in the App Store, and you can set up a whitelist so only certain apps are shut down as well. So you can turn on which ones are which do close and do not. A bit like the first one again. This is in the App Store. If you search Tech Doctor UK, it will come up. And he has a couple of apps in there. And the app tailor is one of them. You can get that one installed. Easily four stop all your background apps with one click. So this one does it instantly. Might be worth a looking into another good option. But the first ones I've done, including the Tech Doctor app killer as well, are great options to try and help your buffering. Brilliant. Again, before we leave, if you can, hit that like button, drop me your comments, hit that subscribe. Check out the links I've got underneath. We've got Real Debrid. We've got an exclusive on IP Vanish. Check out the Tech Doctor app killer. Check out the app I gave you at the beginning. And I hope that helps you with your device. We'll be bringing you some more. So if it doesn't help, there'll be more coming. Thank you for watching. I've been Doc Squiffy and I'll see you soon.